All right, KVGC News Time, now seven minutes after the hour. Welcome to a Friday, 17th day of May for 2019. Well, a new Miss Calaveras and a new Saddle Queen were both crowned yesterday. 2019 Miss Saddle Queen, 17-year-old Madison Wolfman. Miss Calaveras, 2019, 17-year-old Catherine Sharp. Last year, by the way, Sharp won the 2018 Saddle Queen competition at the Calaveras County Fair. Sharp last night also won the Community Service Award and Talent Award. First runner-up in the Miss Calaveras Scholarship Pageant was Jillian Zanizer. She also won the Director's Award and the Achievement Award. Second runner-up went to Emily Bolton. Bolton also won the Photogenic Award. All four ladies will be making numerous appearances at this year's Calaveras County Fair over the next three days and will represent Calaveras County over the next year. It is day two, Buckaroo Day, at the Calaveras County Fair. Tonight, Shooter Jennings in concert. The uh, gates open up at 8 o'clock. Beef show starts at 9, followed by the replacement heifer sale. Uh, sponsored by the Calaveras County Cattlemen's Association. The buildings open up at 10. Carnival scheduled to open at noon today. There's frog jumping all day today in order to qualify for the finals on Sunday. Also, plenty of entertainment. The Miwok Village Old Engine Show, Fables of the West, Petting Zoo, Pony Rides, all going on throughout the day. Don't forget the big Pony Express race coming up in the arena at 4 o'clock. The Ag Mechanics and Industrial Arts Auction in Mark Twain Hall at 4.30. And as I said, Shooter Jennings on the main stage at 8 o'clock. Looks like uh, it's gonna we're going to get a break for the uh, next at least the next 24 hours uh, at Frogtown. And we'll talk more about the weather for you coming up in just a little bit. But, J.D., you've got a story on the Sierras. Yeah, we do. Well, as we dry out a bit today and enjoy the sunshine, the next in a series of winter-like weather systems will move through the Sierras this weekend. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch for the Sierra Nevada above 6,000 feet tomorrow afternoon through late Sunday night. Total snow accumulations above 6,000 foot elevation range from half a foot to two full feet. Now winds may gust up to 40 miles an hour over the period. This will also impact travel in the Sierra Nevada Saturday afternoon through early Monday. More foothill rain and mountain snowfall is forecasted for next week. And a solo vehicle accident slowed traffic at the county line yesterday. About 1 o'clock in the afternoon, CHP reports that emergency responders were called to the scene of a solo vehicle accident on 49 at Del Ordo Road outside of McCallamy Hill. CHP reports that a large flatbed commercial truck went off the road and down the embankment. Two tow trucks were able to remove the truck while officers directed one-way traffic without shutting down the highway. According to the CHP, there were no injuries in the accident. Traffic began to move freely again just before 2 o'clock. And yesterday at 3 p.m., CHP reports emergency crews responded to an accident on Highway 49 at the intersection at Mountain Ranch Road in San Andreas. CHP reports no injuries in the two-vehicle crash, but the incident did block Highway 49 for a short time. According to CHP, crews took about 20 minutes to remove the wreckage as officers directed traffic till the road was reopened. And last month was National Distracted Driver Awareness Month. In an effort to remind the public of the dangers of inattention of driving, the California Highway Patrol teamed up with its traffic safety partners throughout the state to deploy an education and enforcement campaign. During the month, there were a total of 861 citations written in the CHP's Valley Division alone. Now, this was for violation of California's hands-free law. This represents approximately 4.3% of the total 19,850 citations that were written statewide last month. Locally, CHP's Amador Area Office issued 30 citations, and the San Andreas Area Office issued two citations for violations of the same law. Now, in addition to phones, other serious distractions include eating, grooming, applying makeup, reaching for fallen objects, using a vehicle's touch screen, and changing uh, dials or buttons. Also, changing clothes or any other task 
that takes your eyes or mind off the road. Remember, California has had these distracted driving laws since 2018. I've even seen people shaving their face driving down the road. Hey, the Amador County Homeless Task Force Outreach Committee, in partnership with Victory Village, will host the second annual Homeless Resource Fair this weekend, the 19th through 20th, at Dieter Park in Jackson. The Homeless Resource Fair seeks to ensure Amador County residents facing homelessness are able to get all the services and resources they need, including family planning, financial mentorship, vision care vouchers, haircuts, identification documents, and STD tests. The two-day event starts on Sunday, 8 a.m., runs through Monday the 20th at 6 p.m. There will be live and DJ music, ministries, community open mic, free meals, and more. For more information, contact Victory Village, 223-2286, 223-2286, and the event is held rain or shine. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Friday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm JD. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, visit our website, kvgcradio.com.